Hello, welcome back and welcome to Orange. We've gone for hardcore bronzed, beachy, summer, glow, warm eyes, orange lip, just summer vibes. Can we just appreciate this highlight? Just this glow, just this... I wish I was on the beach. Volker on the beach would be so nice right now. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Rainbow Week. It is today, Thursday. No, it's not. It's Saturday. <laughs> Ooh. And we only have one day left after this, but today is orange, obviously. Um, this look is really easy, really simple. My kind of go-to, go-to summery eye. And then I've done like a bright orange lip. Orange to me is a neutral. And I feel very comfortable with orange. So anyway, uh, everything is linked down below. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is rainbow week and I am uploading a new video every single day this week. I've already done red, yellow, pink, green and purple. Today is orange so you've got loads of tutorials to watch if you enjoy this one. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Sat- and today. Today. Saturday is today. Without further ado, I really hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and follow me on my social medias, my Instagram and my Twitter. They are my babies, I love them. They are linked down below. Yeah, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Very important, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. Okay, I'm done asking you to do things. Enjoy the video, bye. <laughs> right, so let's get started. I'm having a breakout. I'm having a not so hot day today. You know when you just look in the mirror and you're like, not your best day, Em. That is how I'm feeling today. So I'm gonna put some makeup on my face that makes me feel like a bronzed, beachy goddess, okay? I'm gonna whack out my MAC eyeshadow in Amber Lights, which to me is like the biggest throwback, but it's a proper like orange toned gold. And I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna do my base first today. So I'm gonna start with my Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. Today is gonna be all about the glow. I'm probably gonna do a very similar skin to the pink day. Um, because that's my go-to, I look rough, what do I do? <laughs> I think I may be coming down with something actually. I'm not quite um, run down. All right, next I'm gonna go in with my By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash. I use this every single day without fail. I always have a backup in my drawer. It ain't cheap, but it is just, a miracle product in my opinion. It makes me just look so much healthier. If I'm in a rush and I don't have time to do makeup, there's always time to just throw this on. And it just lifts your skin and helps to match my face to my body. Because my body is a lot darker than my face. I don't like to put my face in the sun too much. Next, I am going in with my Neod Photography Fluid. Normally I mix these two together, but I'm just wondering what happens if I put one on top of the other? And massage that on top. It probably ends up looking exactly the same. Because they just mesh together. I love this product so much. I can't believe we're coming to the end of Rainbow Week. One day left after this. I've enjoyed it so, so much. And then, because I don't think that's enough glow, oh, I'm going to crack out an old favourite. These are the cover effects. Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. Cause I'm feeling crazy today, apparently. I like to apply underneath my foundation. So I just bring it around the temple and then I just take my sponge, my booty blender or whatever. And I just blend that in. This stuff is like insane. So I only ever really wear it underneath my foundation. Even for me, this is a little bit intense on top. For my foundation, I'm going in with my favorite, my L'Oreal Pro Glow in the shade 205. I do just love this foundation so much. It's like definitely one of my favorites of like all time. <laughs> and this shade is so good for me when I'm a bit tan. It's a nice undertone as well quite olivey. It's yellowy but not too yellow. And then you just blend that over the highlight. And because this um, foundation is kind of a buildable coverage, you can just see that glowing through. I'm so ready to be a bronze goddess. 
thank you very much. I'm just gonna quickly throw some brows on and then I'll be right back. Brows are on, just setting them up. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium to uh, do some spot concealing to cover any scarring I've got. A little bit under the eye. So I will go in with the lighter concealer under the eye, but just for some coverage, I'm gonna start with the Shape Tape. It is just so full coverage. And then I'm gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard under my eyes. I'm not going quite as light under my eyes as usual. I just wanna keep myself nice and bronzed. Keep the tan. So I'm also gonna highlight my nose with this. Sorry if you can hear the crow outside my window. And then I'm blending that in. And then I am setting under my eyes with my RCMA No Color Powder. Just right here where I crease a lot, like that. And then the rest of my face, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Can you see that gorgeous glow where the highlight is underneath? I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my lids as a base. So the first shade I'm going to take is from Makeup Geek and it is the colour Chickadee and I'm softly going to start working that through the crease as my transition shade. This is a beautiful colour, it's like a really light like orangey yellow. I already just feel a hundred times better. Once my base is all even, I just feel so much better. I'm also taking that same colour quite low under my eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with this orange eyeshadow here. This is LOL from NYX. But just take any orange eyeshadow that you have and I'm gonna start buffing that on top. So funny, the other day, Tim plucked up the courage <laughs> to tell me that he doesn't like it when I wear orange eyeshadow. Okay, no. He didn't say I don't like it when you wear it, but he basically was like, it's not my favourite. But he didn't realise that I wear orange eyeshadow every single day. Look at my um, my soft glam palette. Burnt orange is literally nearly gone. And it's nearly gone in my modern renaissance palette. Burnt orange is such a great colour. And I wear it like every single day. <laughs> Tim was like, oh, it's not my favourite when you wear orange eyeshadow. I was like, either you don't know when I'm wearing it. And you only don't like it when I wear it like this. Which... I kind of, I mean, I don't understand because I love orange eyeshadow, but I get why he wouldn't like it. Or he just doesn't like my makeup every single day and never tells me. I'm going to go for the, the first, first option there. For his sake. He's coming home from uni for the weekend tomorrow and I'm excited. We're going to go out for dinner tomorrow and it's going to be really nice. I love date night. It's like my favourite activity. It's just going out for dinner, going to see a film. We do it all the time. And I think it's really important that we do. And I'm taking the same colour and also bringing that under the eye. I'm now gonna go in with Gingerbread from Coloured Rain. Sorry, I'm using all different brands. You just need a warm brown. I am building up on the outer lid. I think my eyes are gonna be so happy when uh, this week is done. I always... <laughs> I always break out and my eyes are always really sensitive at the end of a weekly series. My skin and my eyes aren't used to wearing makeup every single day. Because when you work from home like me, I don't wear makeup like three days a week. Okay, I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Honestly, if you don't own this, buy it because I use this in so many looks. But I'm going to take this dark burnt orange here. Here we go. Now we are talking. And I'm basically just going to put that on top of that colour because that colour was weak. Just blending this across the lid. I am going somewhere hot and sunny on the 31st. And I'm going with um, Imagination and Lucy Flight, who I'm sure you know, both of those girls. And I'm so, 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 so excited. We're going to have such a good time. The three of us get on so well. And the vlogs, I think, are going to be hilarious. <laughs> You'll never guess where we're going. Like, ever. Leave your guesses down below on where you think we are 
traveling to. I'm gonna take this really dark brown and I'm gonna just stamp it on the outer edge. Bring some, sh bring some shape. <laughs> bring some shape and some depth to the to the eyes. For my lid shade today, I'm gonna be using amber light. Well, that's pretty. That's so weird. I remember I used to think this was like so orange and now I wear actual orange eyeshadow. It doesn't look that orange anymore. It's a gold, but it's like a really orange toned gold. So I guess I'm just putting that on the inner third of the lid. This is one of those colors that I think looks lovely on absolutely everyone on really deep skin tones, on super pale skin tones. This is a color I always carry in my kit. Cool. Finally, under the eye, I'm taking the dark orange again. I am gonna curl my lashes. Did you see that? I hit myself in the, I hit myself in the face. These are the masked lash curlers. I'm not gonna lie, they're not my favorite. Um, they don't open very wide, so it's quite tricky to actually get your lashes in, but they do the job. All my other lash curlers have lost their oomph. They've got a bit flaccid on me. I love the word flaccid when it's so funny. Right, I have put on some lashes. These are the smaller lashes in the Doll Beauty set. You can tell that I'm trying to use the same lashes because then you guys just need to buy this pack and then you can make so many different looks with them because they're reusable. So I've put on some lashes and I've contoured my nose and now I'm gonna bronze my face. So I'm gonna start with my MAC Gimme Sun just as a uh, bringer of warmth. Cause this is a very warm bronzer. It's so good, you can still see the highlight. Oh, something just went in my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia bronzer in Saddle and I'm just gonna deepen up the hollows. I'm going in with a bit of Luminoso, oh, because it's a peachy orange and it's got a beautiful glow to it and just bringing that over the bridge of the nose. I'm going to spritz my face. Okay, highlight. To highlight, I'm using my Doll Beauty highlight. And if you don't need as much because you can see there's already that glow still peeking through. I'm gonna wear a bright red, like an orangey red. This is from Soap and Glory and it's called Fired Up and it's like an orangey red. This is Morphe High Maintenance. And then going in with Fired Up. And the final step, I'm gonna put a bit of this Stila Gold Goddess Magnificent Metal in the inner corner of my eye just a touch because it's a completely different shade of gold it's much more yellow than orange but if you put a little bit it works that's pretty cool and here's the completed look i love this look i feel bronzed i feel glowy i feel summer i feel summer today <laughs> this is the completed look really easy i feel like i wasn't very chatty in this video i'm sorry i was i don't really know why it's quite early in the morning and i'm haven't quite woken up yet but i hope you enjoyed this video regardless i really enjoyed making it as always if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and uh, i'll see you tomorrow for the final the final color for blue for rainbow week so see you tomorrow bye